Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Mary Parish as we celebrate the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time. My name is Danielle, and I will be your cantor today. On this Independence Day weekend, we gather to pray for our nation that Christ may be our guide in all justice and righteousness. Our celebrant for this Mass is Father Dennis Carnero, assisted by Acolyte Davis Gray. Today, let us remember in our prayers Bejan Ben, Jerry Day, and Stanley Zerosky. In reverence for the liturgy, please check the you silence your cell phone as we open our hearts to God's grace. Thank you. Please stand and join us in singing our opening song, number 838, to the feast, number 838. be with you all. On this Independence Day weekend, we are grateful for our freedoms and liberties. We are also mindful of the many ways we rely on God's grace. Let us open our hearts to the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you come to reconcile us with one another and the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal our wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
God, who in the abasement of your son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading this evening is taken from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking say to me, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Part of face and obstinate of heart, are they who, who to come, are they to whom I am sending you? But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Christ may dwell in me. 
Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What might mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Jose and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. We in the United States celebrate holiday weekend because tomorrow we will celebrate Independence Day. On this Independence Day, we celebrate having received freedom from any outside power. We will have bonfires, but not about fire. We'll have firecrackers, we'll have festivities, barbecues, all kinds of food. People will come together to celebrate and families come together to celebrate together. This is our celebration and tradition to celebrate Independence Day. Independence. Independence is freedom. Freedom from, yes, any ex exterior power, any outsider. We are free. We have our own constitution. We have a United States flag to represent our constitution. We have our rules and regulations. We have our own government. But then, if we stop to think, yes, we are free from any outside power. But we are free for. We are free for 
serving God. Number one, as a united kingdom, we are free to serve God with all the people. And the United States has become a country that not only helps its citizens in the United States, but also reaches out to help other countries in need. And this is part of our freedom to go out and help others in need. And so, Independence Day for us in the United States is more than just freedom from. More important is freedom for the works that God has given us and gives us the graces and strength and the opportunities to go out and serve the people. Let us pray very specially for the founders of our country. <coughs> All those who set an idea, who set a scheme, set us up together to form the government. Let us pray for them. Let us also pray for all our military, our police force, all those who protect us, that they may continue in the service of God by serving the brothers and sisters in this country. Let us also serve or pray for all those people who have sacrificed their lives to be able to care for each one of us as citizens and to be, keep us safe in our country. <clears throat> the readings prescribed for us today are three short but meaningful readings. The first reading is from the prophet Ezekiel, where God addresses Ezekiel and calls him the Son of Man. Now it's not Jesus, but it is Ezekiel the prophet who has been commissioned by God to go and share the good news. And we know that for Ezekiel it was not easy. But that is the message from God for prophets down the centuries. The work of the prophet is not easy. In the gospel we hear Jesus himself who is God become man who comes to share the word through his preaching through his teaching through his works now today's passage is reminding us that Jesus had already started his public ministry and had preached in the synagogues shared the good news even performed a lot of cures and even raised the dead. These were all mysterious miracles that Jesus performed. Not as a man, but as God become man. And today's gospel passage tells us that Jesus returns to his native country. And the people in his native country know him from birth, from his early childhood, as he grows up to be a young adult. They know all his deeds, his preaching, etc. But then, when he comes up to preach this time, they are amazed. Where did he get his wisdom from? How can he, a simple man like you and me, perform all these activities? And they were amazed. But Jesus, recognizing that, they did not see that he was God made man, that he was here to share the good news of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He goes away without doing many actions, just a few cures of the sick and the needy. You and I, baptized Christian Catholics, when we were baptized, a commission was given us and we were confirmed as priest, prophet and king. 
Today we realize that you and I as baptized Christian Catholics are prophets. We are to share the good news that we have received through baptism and through the teachings of the church. It is for us an obligation to be able to share this good news with our brothers and sisters despite all the difficulties. In the second reading we heard Paul who explains to us the difficulties that he has. But he says in his weakness he sees the strength. And when I am weak, that's when I'm strong. Let us today remind ourselves, you and I are commissioned. Go out and preach the Gospels. Go out and make disciples. Go out and baptize people in the name of Father, Son and Holy Spirit. It is our duty to be able to share the good news with our brothers and sisters and use every opportunity to be able to evangelize people, reminding ourselves that the work of a prophet is not easy, but God is always present to give us the necessary graces and strength to share the good news. <laughs> Let us stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God. Christ and others who are different. For the gift of the Spirit to accept Christ's teachings even when it is difficult. We pray. Lord, I ask in your ways. For all who were devastated in the building collapse in Florida and the heat wave in the West, may the Lord bring comfort to the overwhelmed in eternal peace to all who have passed away, we pray. Lord, I ask your peace. On this Independence Day weekend, we pray that God may watch over the safety of all who guard our freedom in the armed forces, as well as our police and emergency service officers, we pray. Lord, I ask your peace. In our nation, there are many hungry, homeless, and forgotten people. Many may be veterans. 
May the Lord inspire us to find ways to care for all people in their des desperate needs. We pray. Lord, guide us in your ways. May the Lord's blessing be with all who are suffering illness, anxiety, addiction, or declining health. And this weekend, we especially pray for baby Isaac Baramki. And we ask God's grace on all who care for them. We pray. Lord, bless your grace. Lord, we pray for your open arms to receive all who have died, that they may share in your light of eternal life, especially William, Herman, Lucille, Genesee, Stanley, Zorzik. May they and their families find comfort in your resurrection. We pray. Lord, bless your grace. Now let us quietly bring our own prayers, petitions, needs, and hopes before God. For these we pray. Lord, bless your grace. Good and gracious God, look kindly upon your people gathered here and hear our prayers this day. May we be signs of your presence and builders of your kingdom through Christ our Lord. Amen. to God, the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours he humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with angels and archangels with thr thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to those all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, gracefully make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. 
May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, Dan our Pastor, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers, and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us now exchange our greetings of peace.
Since some of us are unable to share in the blessed sacrament in the same manner as we are accustomed, I invite us to pray and act as spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there and you unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 That's right. Let us stand to pray. Grant me, pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. This weekend is the first weekend of the month, the weekend that we can serve those in need by helping restock the food pantry. Food donations can be dropped off this weekend, Sunday, between 9 a.m. and 10.30. Please see the bulletin for su suggested food items, and thank you for your help. As a reminder, that again, the chapel side has been unlocked during the daytime for those who want to stop by for personal prayer in time of God. The Buffalo Grove doors, and only the Buffalo Grove doors of the chapel will be unlocked from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. And on behalf of the pastor, the parish staff, and members of St. Mary Parish, we wish you all a uh, merry and joyful Independence Day tomorrow. God bless you and your families. And of course, God bless America. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.